So we're doing EKG. And there's another video that basically introduces the steps we're going to go through, but the steps we're going to do to, uh, uh, in this video are going to be conduction cycle, talk about Eindhoven's, triangle, talk about how leads, pick up voltage changes in the conduction cycle, and we talk about the basics of leads, one, Well, the first thing we need to do is go through the conduction cycle. And depending on how you've learned this before, or if you have learned this before, the steps might be a little bit different, but the reason they're going to be a little bit different now is because you need to have all of these steps included in order to understand every deflection in the EKG. So example, for example, most people don't include septal depolarization in just kind of a generic lead to Description. But we're going to need septal depolarization because it's necessary to explain the Q wave. One of the first things that we're going to cover, and I'm going to color code everything, is depolarization. Um, now, if I can sneak this over here. KG is doing is picking up voltage changes. And this is the action potential of muscle, its voltage over time. So we're going to pick up this voltage change right here. And that's going to show up as depolarization of atrium. I'm going to switch to colored pencils, and you'll see why in a second. Because it all starts here. I don't know if that's visible much at all. I'll try and make it a little bit visible. But as you'll see later, what an EKG actually picks up is sums, and so I want to leave this light so that I can actually deal with the sum voltages. So this is depolarization of atria. It's when a voltage change occurs across the atria. Next up is repolarization of atria. Again, if we're picking up voltage changes, we're going to pick up this voltage change as well, and it's going to be called repolarization, and we'll pick it up right here. Again, I'm going to switch to a colored pencil. So basically, it shows up what would progress through the arc, reversing the path of depolarization. The next step is there's going to be a little pause. in the AV node, and the reason for that pause is it allows the atria to contract completely to fill the ventricles before the ventricles contract. So we'll just kind of put that as a pause. We won't actually put it in that list. Next step, and this is one that you might not have heard before, and yet it's really critical if you want to understand everything in the EKG. This is important for understanding the Q-wave, and this is called septal depolarization. I haven't drawn my structure real well, but there's a what's called a left bundle branch block. Sorry, left bundle branch. And a right bundle branch. And we're going to depolarize the septum. Next up. something called apical depolarization. Switch back to my colored pencils. This is when we're depolarizing the apex. Remember that the left side of the heart is much, much thicker. The wall is thicker than the right. 
So most of the voltage is going to go at the left. So that's why I've drawn more arrows here. The next step is called right, left, ventricular depolarization. This at this point, most of the voltage has gone as far up as the right atrium, sorry, the right ventricle as it's going to go. And now we're going to follow the current the rest of the way up the left. And our last step is repolarization. You might be noticing something different here. When we talked about the atria, we depolarize and repolarize right away. It doesn't work that way in the ventricles. In the ventricles, you depolarize all of the muscle and then repolarize it. And then you reverse the path. And these lines will show up in a second a little bit better if you're not seeing. Okay, so that's the conduction cycle. Let's draw an Eintowitz triangle, which is really kind of not that big of a deal. Unless you're Mr. Eintowitz. But Eintowitz triangle basically describes the way that leaves. And the leads are going to pick up these voltage changes. It will become critical in a second to understand the orientation and why I'm putting these arrows on here, but it's not really important at this point. Suffice it to say that they're leads, they're called lead one, lead two. And lead two is important because that's the typical one that you're going to see if you're looking at just a single trace. Okay, so now we have this conduction cycle, which really just describes voltage changes in the heart. We got Eintowitz triangle, which describes the leads that will pick up those voltage changes. The next thing is, how do those leads pick up those voltage changes? 